Singapore has unveiled a game plan for developing and deploying artificial intelligence as it takes the next step in its smart nation journey. The plan has been revealed by Deputy Prime Minister Heng Swee Keat at the Singapore FinTech Festival. Singapore is ready to deploy artificial intelligence at a national scale. We have committed over $500 million to fund activities related to AI under our Research, Innovation and Enterprise 2020 plan. We'll create a new National Artificial Intelligence Office to bring together Singapore's efforts as we aim to be a leader in developing and deploying AI solutions by 2030. We'll kickstart this effort by embarking on five national projects while building the enablers that sustain a vibrant AI ecosystem. One such project relates to healthcare, one of the common challenges for many countries. There is great potential for AI to be applied to the predictions, detection and management of chronic diseases. Many seniors suffer from chronic diseases such as diabetes and hypertension. Many might be unaware of their conditions, which if left untreated can lead to serious medical complications. AI can be used to analyze clinical and genomic data, medical images and health behaviors to better assess the risk profile of individual patients for better prevention and case management. Our first step is to deploy Selena Plus, an AI system that is able to detect three major eye conditions, including diabetic eye conditions, from retinal photographs accurately and quickly. These solutions can be applied beyond Singapore to the region and the world. Mr. Heng also says there's a need to preserve the space for innovation and to find rules to maintain accountability when using artificial intelligence. He added that Singapore is doing more to support the adoption of AI in the financial sector as AI has the potential to transform financial services. Singapore's central bank is working on creating a framework for financial institutions such as banks to promote the responsible adoption of AI and data analytics. The framework will, for a start, focus on use cases in three areas, customer marketing, risk scoring and fraud detection. The Monetary Authority of Singapore is therefore working with the industry on a framework called Veritas to provide open source tools for financial institutions to ensure that the use of AI and data analytics remain fair, ethical, accountable and transparent. As you heard to kickstart efforts, five projects are being embarked on. They cover these five areas, healthcare, education, transport and logistics, estate management and border security. Cheryl Lim has the details. Imagine getting a quick eye scan, not just to detect conditions like diabetic eye disease or glaucoma, but to predict your risk of heart disease. That could be reality by 2025 with a software that uses artificial intelligence to analyze retinal photographs. What we intend to do is to use both the patient's systemic data as well as information from the retinal images because we can visualize the small blood vessels in the retinal images and we know these changes in the small blood vessels do predict um, more generalized cardiovascular outcomes and we hopefully aim to find the patients at highest risk of cardiovascular complications so that we can optimize their care and improve their outcomes. Using AI to better predict and manage chronic diseases within the population is one of five projects Singapore is embarking on. Authorities say the projects will guide investment in R&D while generating lead demand, which will anchor talent here. The goal is to ultimately deliver strong social or economic impacts for citizens. Another project that could do this focuses on personalizing education. A typical lesson looks like this, but AI is set to change that by creating more customized learning experiences for students. Such adaptive learning can be tailored according to each child's strengths and weaknesses. A small-scale study was done this year and a pilot will be held by 2022. 
So system will based on the student's understanding of that concept. At which part they are not very strong in, they will give them the material to go on, to try out a quiz and then assess whether they, they are ready for the next level or not. So it's really uh, the students have their own time to learn and they are in control of their learning. Automated marking systems for English will also be piloted in 2020. The third area involves municipal services. It will soon be easier to report issues in your estate with AI-powered chatbots, while sensors and algorithms can detect issues before they occur. Fourth, as a busy logistics hub that involves many players, Singapore aims to develop a common data platform to facilitate optimization of truck trips, starting with those at the sea gateway. It will also explore intelligent routing, for example. Finally, authorities hope to use AI to achieve a 100% automated immigration clearance for all travellers and help border officers enhance productivity. The timelines for these projects stretch up to 2030. Meanwhile, authorities say they will continue to identify other high-impact projects to pursue.